Drop the rug on him. Okay. Turn his head to the camera. Right. Thank you very much, David. 
Thanks, Mr. Raymond. Hey, thanks for coming, Barry. You know, we always love to hear you. Yeah, I really appreciate it, too. Yeah. I really appreciate it. We don't do a bad job, do we? That's the club I've ever been to. Good people. Hey, Billy, I'm feeling fucking what's Billy doing? I don't know, he's fucking come good. <laughs> he asked me, he said, um, do you think I should sell him? I said, no. I said, I said, don't forget, remember when you sold the last one, the money went, yeah. you had no horse. No. I could have something to ride. No, I'm trying to get into the yeah. What are you from? Uh, Matapilli, which is just down near Ipswich. Oh, okay. Yeah. Matapilli. Matapilli. Yeah. Matapilli. Yeah. M-U-T-D-A-P-I-L-L-Y. Matapilli. Because it's always from Oh, yeah. Good boy. And that, that's Johnny. And this is John, the owner. Thank Just take your hand in there, you Hey Kylie! Kylie! Thank you. <laughs> Kylie! Kylie! There you hey, go, how mate. You doing? Good, thanks. Can I get off or you want me to? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Paul Murphy for the win anyway. Merrick, you think? I'll you man. Can you stand next to me because this is Channel 9? No. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. Can you hold my horse, please? Yeah. 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 This is my sponsor. Oh, He's going to hold, hold uh, yeah, the horse for me. Absolutely. Sure. This is John. John? This is hey, John Paul. Don's, Murphy. Don's the yeah, owner. John, nice to meet you. You get some of that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is it uh, Eubank? Eubank? Merrick Eubank. U B A N K. Where are you from? Mudapilly. Which is <laughs> just down the other side of it. It's just the other side of it, switch. Oh, oh. Yeah. Don't say Ipswich. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> In fact, what I might get you to do is actually say it for me yeah. on camera in just a moment, so I make sure I get it right. I don't want to yeah. get it wrong. Well, you might get it square up to the camera, so you put your feet towards the lens. So I'm looking at the Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. Merrick, I might just get you to say your name and where you're from, just for a sound level check for us, please. Uh, so I look at you when I'm talking? Yes. Merrick Eubanks from Mudapilly. Can you spell Mudapilly for me, please? M-U-T-D-A-P-I-L-L-Y. Beautiful. I know it sounds like a silly thing, but it's like little things like that. Right. Correct spelling and stuff. Yep. Hey, congratulations on your win. Were you happy with uh, the way you performed today? Yeah, I was. That was a big class there today. It was a metre 50, which is World Cup height. And um, this horse has been doing World Cups for the last two years now. He placed in the last four that he did. And um, that was just a good demonstration of how they've been all going. Top class horse, obviously. Uh, how long have you been associated with him? Um, I've had him for probably four years now. I got him when he had just done not much at all. He was uh, just doing little stuff, and I brought him all the way through to World Cup level. And when you say that you, you know, he's done those World Cup events, presumably you're on, on the back yeah, of him as well. Yeah. So you, you're quite experienced then, having done those, those World Cup events. Yeah, I've been doing World Cup since I was 18. That's when you can sort of start doing them. And, um, this horse is one of the best I've had so far, yeah. Well, I guess you have to have a, you know, a pretty good relationship between rider and horse to be able to compete, uh, you know, at this level. Yeah, yep. Um, every day you feed and feed twice a day, you ride them every day. You, you can't go on holidays and leave them behind. It's not like taking a dog to the kennel. It's, it's every day and it's a lifestyle. And when it comes to uh, competition, I mean, I, I guess you've got to have trust in each other, rider and horse. Yeah. I trust him with everything I do and even when I sort of stuff up, you know, a little bit, he'll help me out a bit and he trusts me a lot too. This weekend, I mean, were you keen to do here? It was a pretty good uh, yeah, field of ride as yep. you... This show is always a good show to go to. Um, as you can see, the jumps are big, so it's a good warm-up before we go to Sydney, Easter show. Um, that's one of the biggest shows we go to. Of course, we're sort of getting toward that show uh, period now. Was this weekend sort of a bit of a gauge of where you're at, yeah. a bit of a warm-up for the future events? Yep, this is my first show since I came back from Victoria at the end of the year. Um, his last start was Wodonga World Cup, which he got third, so... He hasn't had much work and this is his first show back, so it was a good, good indication of how he's going to go this year, I hope. And uh, the fact that uh, there were so many good riders here, uh, that's obviously an indication that the riders like uh, you coming here to, uh, to this event? Yeah, it's, a, it's a, one of the best clubs. It's very well run. run. Um, Paul and Sue Raymond and the whole um, jumping committee, um, they just do a great job here and they really look after you so that's why we're coming in support of it. You can see the weather wasn't so great today, it was pouring rain this morning and I was going to go home this morning um, but it, I didn't want to let them down and it's, it makes it a good event, you know. It's not much fun for everyone to watch because there's not many in it. And, and well worthwhile sticking around because you've got the win and I guess yeah. it's always nice to, to go home, uh, you yeah. know. We just check in the, in the back pocket. It is because it's Sunday night, it'll be late before I get home, it'll probably be midnight by the time I finish feeding up and putting them all away when I get home and gotta go to work in early in the morning so this makes it worthwhile and this is why you do that. Aladino, just tell me a little bit about him. He looks like a I mean he's a beautiful looking horse. Uh, tell me about him. Uh, he's by Alamo. Um Todd Kiston from Mackay Angel. He's given me a share in him now since we've got this star. Um, the owner John me and him have a great relationship with my best friends, you know, it's not father-son relationship, but that wouldn't work, it's the best friends. Um, I've had this horse and I've got a few more of John's horses and that, and like I said before, we do it. It is meant to be fun, but it is it is serious too, but we try and have a good time while we're doing it. You mentioned the show circuit coming up, and obviously you're keen to do well, but are you looking at sort of the bigger picture beyond that? You mentioned World Cup events and things last year. What's sort of on the program against um, this year? This year, first World Cup of the year, Sydney Royal, which we're going down for, and then I'm going to be travelling up and down a lot to try and 
taste of the World Cup circuit this year. Hopefully get to New Zealand next year and America at the end of the year. Awesome. Good on you. Thanks so much for your time. Nice to meet you. Well done. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Appreciate so, that. One more thing. Yeah. Are we able to get our hands on any of that GoPro footage? Yep. Um, Kylie will help you with that. Fantastic. Yeah, right. Thanks for new, that. It's a new thing Kylie's, Kylie sponsors me. So it's a new thing she's doing now. So we're giving a bit of a test run. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got yeah, it mate. still on now, so it gets yeah, away. Yeah. <laughs> No, but yeah, talk to Kylie, she'll be able to do that for you. They want to... Absolutely. I'll tell them it's all yours, it's all your ID. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. It's awesome.